हाय वेलकम टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी लिंडेमन हिंसलवूड मैकेनिज्म फॉर दी यूनिमोलिकुलर रिएक्शंस और सिंपली इट इज ए लिंडेमन थ्योरी फॉर यूनिमोलिकुलर रिएक्शंस सी द फर्स्ट सक्सेसफुल एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ यूनिमोलिकुलर रिएक्शंस वाज प्रोवाइडेड बाय फ्रेडरिक लिंडेमन इन नाइनटीन सो ही इज फ्रेडरिक लिंडेमन देन दैट एक्सप्लेनेशन वॉज इलेबोरेटेड बाय सिरिल हिंशल वूड सो ही इज सिरिल हिंशल वूड नाउ व्हाट इज द एक्चुअल मैकेनिजम इन द लिंडेमन हिंशल वूड मैकेनिजम इट इज सपोज दैट ए रिएक्टंट मॉलिक्यूल ए नाउ सी सपोज वी हैव ए रिएक्टंट मॉलिक्यूल ए इट बिकम्स energetically excited by collision with another a molecule in a bimolecular state so in this case we have suppose that we don't have uh, two different molecules a and b we have same molecule a that a molecule becomes energetically excited by collision with the same another a molecule in a bimolecular state now see how it is take place suppose we have this a molecule that a molecule collide with this a molecule okay so it become excited so a star it is excited molecule now in this figure c this excited a star molecule okay it may either deactivated so this is deactivation step or it may go on decay by a unimolecular process to form products i repeat see here we have molecule a it collide with this another a molecule and become excited the excited molecule is called as is called as a star that a star may get deactivated to form again a or it go on to decay by unimolecular process to form products so this is the actual mechanism of the lindemann hinshelwood theory now see this is our a molecule it collide with another a molecule to form a star plus a now if k1 is the rate constant for the forward reaction k minus 1 is the rate constant for the backward reaction this is our equation number 1 now the excited molecule a star may form product p and k2 is the rate constant for the formation of product so this is equation number 2 so we have written these two equations from this diagram in the first case that a collide with a to form excited a star along with a and that excited a star may undergo decay to form the product so this is our equation 1 and 2 now we have to write net rate of formation of a star so this is a star here again this is a star we have to write net rate we are not going to write an individual rate we are individual rate for the each reaction we are going to write net rate of the formation of a star now see how it is written d of a star upon dt it is equal to k1 a square now how it comes see in the first step which is a forward reaction there is a formation of a star from a and a and where k1 is the rate constant therefore k1 into a square a into a gives us a square and as there is a formation of a star it has positive sign so k1 a square minus k minus 1 a star into a now how it comes see here a star if it undergo decomposition so here it is a decay so negative sign comes here and decay is from a star and a therefore here a star and a and again that a star may form product so again there is a decay of a star so here comes negative sign 
k2 into a star so here k2 into a star so d of a star upon dt is equal to k1 a square minus k minus 1 a star into a minus k2 a star this is our equation third now apply the steady state approximation so on applying steady state approximation we can write k1 a square minus k minus 1 a star into a minus k2 a star is nearly equal to 0. So this total step it become equal to 0 when we apply the steady state approximation. Now why it becomes equal to 0? Because that a star it is an intermediate here and according to steady state approximation the rate of formation of that intermediate is nearly equal to 0. So this is our equation number 4. Now k1 a square minus a star is taken as common from these two. So a star into in bracket k minus 1a plus k2 it is equal to 0. Now k1 a square is equal to so uh, this part change the side so is equal to a star into k minus 1 a plus k2 then rearrange it for a star so a star is equal to k1 a square upon k minus 1 a plus k2 so this is our equation number 5 so what we have obtained we have obtained the concentration of a star is equal to k1 a square upon k minus 1 a plus k2 now the rate law for the formation of product p so now we are going to write the rate law for the individual step so that a star into uh, formation of product from a star we have considered uh, this individual step and rate law for this step is dp upon dt see here dp upon dt so for this we have written here nu that nu is equal to k2 a star why k2 a star c as there is a formation of product p and we are going to write rate law for p therefore it is k2 into a star so dp upon dt or simply nu is equal to k2 a star now put the value of a star from equation 5 so here we have derived value of a star put this value in this equation number 6 so it become nu is equal to k1 into k2 a square divided by k minus 1 into a plus k2 so this is our equation number 7 now we have to apply conditions of pressures now see at high pressure which is greater than or equal to one atmosphere most a star molecule that is excited a molecule will be deactivated instead of forming product this is important see at high pressure if pressure is high the excited molecule will be deactivated instead of forming product so it does not give us product but it get deactivated therefore k minus 1 is very very greater than k2 see the reaction so in this reaction if pressure is very high the excited molecule get deactivated instead of formation of product so this k minus 1 is very very greater than k2 so this is written here k minus 1 is very very greater than k2 now therefore equation 7 becomes this is our equation 7 so it becomes nu is equal to k1 k2 into a square divided by k minus 1 a now put k infinity for this k1 into k2 divided by k minus 1 so we get nu is equal to k infinity into a so a has the power 1 so we say that this is a first order rate law so what is our conclusion our conclusion is that at high pressures according to lindemann hinchelwood mechanism unimolecular reaction follows the first order rate law now another condition is that at low pressures so here pressure is less than or equal to 0 0.5 atmosphere here most a star molecules form the product instead of being deactivated so in the first case 
we have seen that that a star uh, molecule get deactivated instead of forming product here the a star molecules form the product instead of being deactivated so it is opposite to each other that is k2 is very very greater than k minus 1 so equation 7 becomes nu is equal to k1 into k2 into a square divided by k2 again we have to put k infinity for this k1 into k2 divided by k2 so nu is equal to k infinity into a square as a is a raised to 2 so order is 2 so this is a second order rate law again what is our conclusion according to lindemann hinshelwood mechanism unimolecular reactions follow the second order rate law at the low pressures so this is all about the lindemann hinshelwood mechanism it is very important mechanism to understand unimolecular reactions now see why it is important because in bimolecular reactions we consider two molecules there are two different molecules that two different molecules collides with each other and we study accordingly to that but in case of unimolecular reactions we have only one molecule so what lindemann and hinshelwood uh, that uh, postulated or what they have assumed they have assumed that that a molecule undergo collision with the same molecule that is same another a molecule so that assumption is important to study the unimolecular reaction so today we have studied this mechanism uh, we have seen what is the actual mechanism a reactant molecule a becomes energetically excited by collision with another a molecule in a bimolecular step so we have studied this figure and then we have derived an expression for this mechanism for the two conditions first one is the for at high pressure and for at low pressures so i suggest to all of you that write down this expression in a, your notebook then try to understand what is written in this expression thank you